What not a better time to go over something I have. Guess what it is? It's our tent. It is a three-man Eskimo tent, not insulated. So we're just gonna go over really quickly up this tent. I think it's a really good tent. It's the first tent I ever bought, and it's a pop-up one. You can do it easily by yourself in probably a matter of, I don't know, 30 seconds if you do it correctly from the start, and it's not really hard. Be your own judge if you think it's a good tent for you or not. If I were to next year get another one, I might get it insulated. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've been walking around too much. And if I were to get an insulated one next year, the reason being it would be because we've been going out later at nights and it was like minus 30 some of the nights. So even with the heater, it's not bad, but it'd be nicer to have an insulated one. But as far as regular temperatures, minus 20, even with a little bit of wind, it's not that bad. I'll show you how we use this tent and what you guys think about it. So it is super light, clearly. And I'm a wiener. <laughs> I can't lift very much. Super easy to pack around. Backpack, adjustable straps, like any other one you can get. You go like that, you open it, and you take it out. And then you go like this. Lost yet. And you pull it out like this, and that's that. And there's another strap it comes with. Just holds it together so it's easier to get it in the bag. Pretty easy to put back in all the time. Sleeping bags are impossible. I don't do that. Okay, so first thing you do, you open it like this. Lost yet, real hard. And you try and get that, you want to pull the pop, you want to, you want to pop up the center first and then go around the sides. I found that's the easiest. Get here, hey, get Get up, get back. So, here's the center, to the top, I think. Ah, one, and then like I was saying, it's easier to pop the sides out going around. Just get out of the way, get. Oh. Just like that. Pull it out. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. And then you spin it out. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn the tent so you can see better too how you do it. It's yeah, kind of the same, but whatever. So we go like that, and then we pop this one out. That one. And it'll turn it. So you can see. Yeah! A little hard turning it. Pull that one out. Super easy. Oh. And then the last one. Ta -da! Oh yeah! Okay, so the first thing I bought because I'm lazy and I ain't screwing these in by hand, that's stupid. So you can go to any of the stores, order them online. Oh, you can get Eskimo one specifically, or this green brand, it's an off brand. I forget the name of them, but they all do exactly the same thing. This one's cheaper. Do I have a fish? <laughs> nope, of course we don't have a fish. Okay, so. <sighs> They're playing tricky games today. Okay, oh, so the adapter right here. Don't worry, I'll take you for the grand tour when we're done drill. Righty tidy. These are the pigs. You put it on the corners and I'll show you up close. There's littler pigs that we're going to use when you're in Saskatchewan. It's windy. It anchors the sides down to the ice too as well. So keep up guys. It's hard. All right. So it's a skirt that goes around the outside. You got to pull it out. All fancy like. Just like that. And then I'll give you a demonstration. And this is the, oh, coincidentally, it's the angle. This, uh, don't get Rammy taking these out when it's minus 30, when you're in a hurry to get to the truck. It came out, it went screwy, it went into the side of the tent, but I got it fixed. It's kind of sewed up, but that was my fault. So be careful taking them out. There it is. Ta-da! And that's that. And you screwed in. Eh. I tried these by hand the first time, then I went to right, right back to the store and bought this. We're not doing this by hand. Oh yeah, that's one. And you square it up a little bit, tight, keep it tight. Tighten it up like this. Okay, and the 
and that's that. And they'll never come out, ever. And then, like I was saying, when you're in Saskatchewan, it's kind of windy. So, pay attention. I'm only gonna show you this once. <laughs> that's that, because when the wind's coming, it'll do that, and it'll scare you, because that's what happened the first time when I got this tent. These didn't come with the tent. You spend $350 and they don't come with the tent. It's stupid. So, when you pull it out like this, make sure it's uh, as long as it'll go. Pull it out. Can you see still? And you kind of line it up. So it's about there. And then you go like this. Righty tighty. Ta-da! Never gonna come out. And then I put it in the hook this way. And then you just tighten it. Like that. And now, the wind's not gonna blow it in. Cause that sucks. And if you have your camera gear on the side, that almost happened to me. I would have knocked it over. I would have been really mad. Let's take the tour. Shall we? Oh wait, there's one more thing. <laughs> oh, it's called the quick fish. Three, three man. Usually it's three man or a dog or two man and a dog. Oh! <laughs> it's got windows! <laughs> Jess, come here. So you can take the flap up and take it down. And it's dog friendly. Come here. It's for puppies. They got two zippers, super strong. Oh shit, I gotta one hand this. <laughs> Ta-da. It's got two really heavy duty. And it's got Velcro to the other end. Ta-da. You're living the life, guys. I tell you when you get one of these. So, like I was saying, you can have it open. You can put your head out, because why not? <laughs> like that. Get out, and they all come off. And that one goes up too. And there's ones here. There's ones here. And you get two doors. You gotta have an exit by code. And there's that one. Ain't that something. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm 5'10 probably. You can probably be a little taller. And there is lots of room. Like I'm sitting here, I can fish there. The dog's there, she can do whatever she wants. You have your other person hole. Let's go. This is without a doubt probably going to be one of the funnest review videos I've done in a while. I just got the brand new 2021 Otter Vortex Thermal Hub. It's a six to seven man. This thing is huge. And let me tell you something, I've already set it up once and this is one of the easiest shelters to set up. And the reason being, it's so heavy. When you're fighting with the little tents, I've already noticed so I had a three man Eskimo and when you pull it the sides, all you do is fight it and you pull the tent. But this tent, it's like you can set it up so easy by yourself. Under five minutes to set up and under five minutes to take down. I'll show you guys in the video, but basically to set it up, you gotta pull the outsides out individually and the weight keeps it in one spot. So they pop out in five, I think it's around five sides. And then the last thing you do is you go inside the tent and you push it up. Now I can't wait to pop this thing up and show you guys how, if this is the Cadillac of freaking ice tents. It's a little more money, but you get what you pay, and I'm so freaking pumped to show you how good it is. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod here, and I'm gonna show you how this is done. So keep in mind, this is my second time setting this up, and the very first time, it wasn't even five minutes, so it's not hard at all. It's gonna take up an ice sled, essentially, so I might even have to get another sled, some for the gear and some for the tent itself. It weighs probably, I don't, it weighs a lot. Comes in this big sack. It's a strong canvas case, it's huge, it's massive, very heavy. Okay, this is the case. And there's lots of room. It's not like those stupid sleeping bags. You can barely get it back in. They give you lots of room. So you don't have to fight with it. Yeah, let's go, baby. I'm fighting with it. There we go. I lied. I'm an outright liar. So here we go. And it's a hard canvas plastic in the bottom here too. So that's gonna last. It's not gonna wear out. This is your big sack here, your case put all 
of your anchors. And this is uh, just a label you can put your tent and everything, kind of like ice shelters. You just put your, uh, who shelter it is, name and everything else. So we're gonna put that back in there. And it's not windy, we don't need the pegs today. Now, comes with a strap here too. Oh. There's one strap right here too. Just take it off, give it a yeet. And this is the coolest part. It's so cool. You get a flag and a beacon to go on top. Because you do need it some days on the ice when it's foggy and snowing. Bad things do happen and people run into things. So put the beacon on and the flag, pretty cool. All right, it's actually getting really cold out. It's fall here and it sucks, which means, well, it's good for ice fishing, but we gotta slow down on the regular fishing. All right, so this thing essentially just unfolds itself accordingly, kind of flop the edges out, and then you'll start lifting out, and then we'll start popping out the sides. Now we're just gonna start popping the sides out as we go around. One. And now, like I was saying, it's heavy, so you don't fight really with anything. Just pull it straight out. Very easy. Freaking sweet, though. Oh, we haven't forgot about you guys. We'll keep you on the loop. Pulling it. Just about, and we're explaining that as we go too, so you would be a little quicker too if you just went full throttle. And that's it. How hard was that? Right around the outside, didn't fight with anything. So now, we gotta find the doorway. I didn't give us enough room at all. Good planning, Cody. All right, we can pop this open. Nice Velcro tabs. Just like that. I'll give you the best view I can. Side. Pop it up. That's it. How long did that take? And I was explaining it at the same time. It's not hard. I didn't fight with anything. Not like those stupid little tents that I hate now. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around the outside and just kind of tidy it up. Nice and pretty light. Just pull the sides out, get the skirting out. Because when you get to the ice, it helps keep the uh, heat in and everything. You just pack snow around the outside, you lose stuff, and just fill it up, uh, or pile it up around the sides. Nice, 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 nice. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Right? Right? It's awesome, hey? You guys haven't even seen the inside yet. So I think we're just gonna start on the outside, the cool things. Everything's cool, but we'll take a close up on everything. We're just gonna start in the bottoms here. <laughs> Look at my hair. Oh, that's just, that's, I don't know what to think about this anymore. <laughs> Pretty gnarly. Okay, ah, side track. Okay, now the sides. Now what you can do, well, after you put these in, you put them together with your anchors here, and you can cinch it up too. So it keeps your sides super tight in the bottom because lots of the other styles too, they get really loose and they flop in the wind. So this sturdies up absolutely everything. So each anchor point has the exact same uh, cinch points too when you anchor to the ice. Now this is absolutely amazing. All the other tents I purchased did not have the lanyard and this one comes with it. It's just, you, you need these, especially when you're in Saskatchewan, it's too windy. And what happens if you don't use these, the wind just pushes in the side and claps your tent and knocks your camera over. You get really mad and you're really lucky you didn't fall in the water. <laughs> so, so you guys know how to use these, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, anchor these down with other pins on the side of the ice and it stops your sides. And it's fantastic because it's got a little case here too. You can wrap them back up and put them there so you never lose anything. So every corner, has those two all tucked away, nice and neat. And the quality, just touch it, just touch it. It's good material too, it's gonna last. It's really heavy duty too. Well that's new. We got a little thing there. We can hang stuff if you want, don't know what. This is probably one of the simplest and coolest features I like. If you have a big buddy heater, you can get a hose adapter that runs to a 30 pound propane tank. So you just run your hose through here and leave your 30 pound outside. 
So it's just another way to save space. And there's one on this side and one directly adjacent on the other side. Just another little thing to save space and why this thing is the Cadillac of ice tents. All right, here we go. Grand finale. Wait till you see this. It's going to blow your mind. Look at the freaking size. You can hear your echo. This is how big it is. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to just lay down here. You guys can get the full view here. Put this right on the ground. I need a wide angle lens to do this part. I should have done that. It's been a lot better. Now we're gonna pop some uh, windows open and there's a really interesting feature with these windows I'll go over too. All right, so this is it. Look at all the windows. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And everybody, this is, the, this is another cool feature. These ones right here, why are they low? Because when you're squatting right here, watching your hole and you got a tip up way out there, you don't gotta stand up like in some tents like when they're here to actually look at your tip up. You can stay sitting right here, looking at your tip up out the window. Cause that's probably about 18 inches from the ground right there. So that's great. Just decided to say hello. Hey girl, run around, sniff poo. That's what I thought. All right, so now more features about in here. Look at all the cuppy holders. You have one there, two, three, four. And look at the one on top here too. You can put one, your coats, like anything. It's, it's, use your imagination. It's whatever you want to put up there. And there's another one on this side too. And look at all the rod holders. Like it, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. Four, eight, 12, 16. 16 rods for one person. I guess it's legal if you can do that. No, I'm just joking, it's two per person. Don't do anything illegal. And you got your vents on each side too for your heater so you don't smother yourself. Another one right there. Now, I'm legitimately sweating. It's hot in here. It keeps the heat in. It's amazing. Outside it's cold, it was about five degrees this morning and in here like, it's hot like I got to take some sweaters off if I were to stay in here and for comparison I was gonna you know what I think I got a tape measure just for uh, proof we'll show you guys the actual measurements of the inside and I'm 5'10 so pretty good hey you can literally walk around here for six foot if you stay in the center not so much here because I'm 5'10 you'd bottom out right there <laughs> All right, I knew it. I had to take measure of the truck, so I'll give you guys actual measurements in here too, because there's always people that are curious about how tall it is exactly and the total width on the inside. So I'm just gonna put the camera down. Right about here. Should be pretty close. Can you see me? Sure you can. Okay. This thing from ground to tall, oh, it's gonna bottom out. Oh, this thing. I'm gonna rip it out. I don't wanna wreck it here. So ground to top, two more inches, 80 inches roughly, 80 inches. Now, we're gonna do the sides. Now, there is two doors, right in line. I think I already said that, I don't remember. So we're gonna measure from door to door, total distance apart here. 140 inches across. So you're not lacking room. It's just, it's meant for six to seven. You could probably fit, I don't know, comfortably five for sure in my dog. Cause my dog always comes too. So this is it, this is the inside. It's, I can't wait to use this. This is the brand new Otter 2022 XD Hideout Insulated. It's exactly what I'm gonna tell my wife when she walks through the door. Super quick review, I promise. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run a tape on it. When you buy something, you wanna know exactly how much room it takes up and on the inside measurements too. I know for a fact we already had it set up in the house. Poochie can go in it too, Jess. There's a lot of room in these, I'm really surprised. The whole reason I wanted a one man, we still got the six to seven otter resort right there. I like solo ops moving around because once you got Hotel California set up, it's so hard to move and if it's windy, you can't. So this year I want to concentrate on hopping around a lot more. The one man is going to be awesome for that. Freaking case that covers it, that's separately for like a hundred bucks. You want to not throw that in, why would you throw that in? Because this thing I'll tell you right now, it's like 800 and some bucks. It's not cheap. So first of all, this is the case. It's super light. Like You'll have no problem lifting this yourself into the back of a truck. And the seat does here, the seat's right here. We just took it out because we forgot to put it in. If it, it'll fit in the case, no problem. We had it in the living room, we've been playing around with it for like three days. And I'll show you guys how it works. Not really hard. This is the case, it's just elastic around the outside. The canvas, it feels heavy duty. It should probably last at least six months, you know, quality. If this comes off, it's just spring loaded or elastic. It's elastic loaded. It's like defined fish, like panfish, you gotta drill a lot of holes. 
You gotta be moving if it's cold. That's why I wanted this. I'm sick of freezing. So that's it. That's the case. This is the best part. It's just basically it's a running gun. I love it. Up just like this. Exactly why I wanted this unit. Now we'll just go around the outside so you, you guys can have a better idea what it looks like up close. All the zippers are heavy duty. They're thick, the stitching looks really well. It's super heavy canvas, it's insulated. And this is the latch to hold your door open. It's the two zippers, the half open, bottom to top. It's got the skirt that overhangs on the bottom so you can use that to put snow to keep the wind from getting underneath as well. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth, it's gross. It's, it has a lot more windows than I thought. One on the front, it's got that film on it from that tissue paper. I gotta do a better job of cleaning that off. But it's got one on the front, one on the side here. And this is the vent for Mr. Big Buddy when it's in the tent, you don't uh, carbon monoxide yourself. Another one here at the back, like this is a gross film. I don't know why it sticks on so bad. It's that tissue stuff, I don't know. Super heavy duty, like it'll, this is gonna keep you warm. This heater, Mr. Big Buddy here, more that like this is overkill you could get a little sunflower in a tent like that you don't need anything that big but this is the only one i have now so i'll be using it but if you have a small one it'll be lots when you're setting this up you gotta assemble it yourself hang on i'm gonna tell you right now having a second buddy for some of this helps a lot because this stripping underneath here i almost popped the blood vessel behind or maybe i did behind my eye i got pretty red it's a lot easier when you're pulling the skirt down to get somebody to hold it because you gotta push this up and screw it without it coming up too. So that's the only part. It's not hard, but I'm super picky. I had to get it perfect. But still, I got pretty mad. We had to take a break. Here's the other side, just to stretch down the view down the side so you can see. Same thing, a vent on this side. Window, this is where you put your tent, your phone number and everything if you leave it on the ice. I wouldn't leave that on the ice. Some could take that. It's a bad idea. All right, measurements. Ladies, the part you've all been waiting for. How big is it? It's not about how big it is. So I'm trying to tell you guys, it's how you use it in this video. It's how you use it. I'm gonna measure it, not from the skirt, right where the metal rail starts, to the back. So you know the exact length of this thing. So we'll call it right here. Pretty much 103. 103 inches, that's pretty big. Now we're gonna go uh, width. It's all about girth, too. <laughs> I put this right here. Okay. Uh. Get her lined up with the edge of the frame, not the skirt. So, 103 by, pretty much we'll call it three feet, 36 inches. Now we're gonna do the inside, and this is the entry point. Always from the front. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying. So now we gotta put the uh, seat in that I left out, but you can put it in, you'll be able to tell in a second. I got the work light behind me, so that's why it seems like there's a supernova in my face. So you can't see in there. Two pieces and it, it goes in the back tub. So you don't have to take it out. Slips in. And it's a swivel. Coming in, coming in. So here we go. Lots of room. Oh, it's so bright. <clears throat> in the back here, the flaps are all Velcro. The vent's up there on that one. Light. And then the, the other one's on the very front. But there's no issue. I'm 5'10". Like, you, yeah, this is me bending over a little bit for 510. You're not supposed to stand it anyway, so don't worry about that. And the, the really cool thing about the chair when it swivels, it's got a contour, so it'll turn one way a little bit to help you grab stuff easier in the back down here. And same on the other side. You turn, and all of your stuff is right down here. This is why I love it. Like, here's where my feet go. The hole can go there. The dog can go there. Heater here, like there's so much room. I just love this. And then you can flip this down. Ugh, and there's all your room. It's fantastic. This is perfect for what I wanted to use it for this year. Before I forget, you have little cuppy holders here too. This is for your beverages. Another little thing, I don't know what you want to put in there. Fish hooks. And the same on this side, there's one more mm, little cuppy holder right there. Oh, I hate balancing this. From the front of the hub, where the metal goes down to the base here. So it'll show you the floor, your floor plan. See how much room you have. So you have 58 inches from front. Front, which way is the front? Front to back, 58. From side to side. We already measured that, it's the same as the front. What do you, what do you know, 36 inches. We'll just do height. We can probably do that. So 57 inches from top to bottom. Oh boy, I almost forgot, surprise. I forget everything. I, 
We gotta do an itinerary, but I never do. Jess never does that for me. We're gonna measure the tub in the back here. Hang on. It's hard. So your uh, tub here, it's pretty much 45 inches. And then the width of this guy is, well, two feet then. So a little less. Okay, so this is the last part. Oh, I should change that. It comes with three expandable poles. And if you live in Saskatchewan, you guys know it's so windy. You will, we're probably gonna use these a good majority of the time. It's basically just like this. Focus, I don't know if it's gonna focus. Uh, it's just got clips to go around the aluminum bars and it just stabilizes the tarp. Your canvas will flap around there, I'll show you. The clip on, super duper hard. That goes like that and then it clips right up. Like that, and you tighten them. I guess you can see this one. They just clip on just like this. They snap, you can move them a little bit side to side if you want to. This is just where you tighten them. In the same, up there to the bottom. The beautiful, beautiful company, Deer Family, sent us this ice tent. So we're gonna be checking it out and you guys, you guys can see exactly what we think of it. Now this is the first time opening this. And previously in the past, we've had about three or four ice tents. So we know what we're looking for, for the stitching, how thick the insulation is, how durable you think it's gonna be, and if it's the best bang for your butt. They call this one, the three to four man tent. It's blue and it's insulated. I think I already said that, but judging from the pictures, like I said, we have not opened this yet. It looks like the Eskimo three eye. So that was a three man one we used to have. So we're gonna see if it's, if it's equivalent to the same size, but if it's a four man in there, I think it's gonna be pretty damn snug, but I'd probably consider this a two to three man top. Go get it. And this does come with, um, pigs which is kind of nice and i believe it comes with the side strap i think from the pictures when we looked at it and if you're in a windy environment such as saskatchewan here it's it's going to push in the sides because we've tried it without it on the eskimos and what the wind does is it just collapses it so like i said if it's super windy you got to strap the, the sides of the tent and you got to anchor them into the ice that is an absolute must take a look here and once it's set up i'm going to bring the gopro off the stand so you beautiful people can see the inside and uh, the windows and everything see what it's like Oh yeah. I'm judging by everything from just the read up. I believe this is a regular, like if you're just an average fisherman, I'm sure this would be lots. If you're hardcore, you might want to spend more. I don't know. Cause the Eskimos and like the clams and what's the other one? The one I have, otter. They're about three times as much money. So it depends on much you fish and what you want to spend. I think these are the pigs. Let's look together, shall we? So let's get a nice Velcro pack here. Yeah, I don't know how Velcro works. I can't get in. Eh. Nice, okay, so we're right. It does come with the pegs, obviously. That's a super good thing, like I was saying. And it looks like, okay, so it's the strings. Uh, you can get like the strap, like the tie-down ones that cinch down, but this is the strings then that hold the sides to the ice. Tell you right now, not quite as good. These will slip, because which, which uh, see these little things here? The clips, you basically tighten them down like this and then you cinch the sides. I know they can slip a little bit, but depending on how windy it is, they'll probably still work. If not, you'll have to upgrade. We will, well, they got it wrapped up pretty nice. That's a bonus. Oh, nice. So they got an extra padding on the pad, or the padding on the pad, padding on the legs. And I'm just guessing that we set this up just like my three-man Eskimo. You pop the center up first, and then you work your way around the outside. And it's nice you have this strap, because my Eskimo didn't come with that, actually, because once you get it cinched together like a sleeping bag, can tighten it so it doesn't come apart and it's easier to get back in the bag. That's a plus so far, that's a win. Alrighty then, I like that it's blue. I'm sick of red, you see red so often, the blue is kind of a nice color. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we have to find, I think that's the side. Yeah, the sides, we're gonna pull the center up first. Once again, guys, first time. We haven't practiced this yet. I could be wrong. Okay, so top. You should do it in order, I think. And kind of pull them out as you go. So I guess I'll kind of spin it, you can see. And they got really good handles, it looks like. You just pull it out, and you pull it out. I should have one more, because it's got four sides. Perfect. So that was pretty cinch. Oh, nice. So I can tell you right now, it's got vents right here. Is that, I don't have my GoPro high enough. It's got vents on the top, which is good because, whoops, when you have a heater in there, the gas has to escape. Nice. So I decided we're gonna do the full effect here today. We're gonna anchor this baby down. You just have to remember, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, and there's your pegs. 
you stab it in and I actually have a, a drill, an adapter, it makes it a little quicker because I'm lazy, super lazy some days, but it's super easy to put it in the dirt. <laughs> the ice is a little harder. So we'll pretend that one's in all the way. You, and one thing too, if you guys are new to tents, when you cinch one down, try to keep it square, pull it till it's snug and you stab it and then you twist it in. And another thing too, most of you may know this too, but when you get it all set up and everything, what you want to do is put um, snow along the outside and cover this entirely because the wind will get in, but if it's padded with snow and it'll keep the heat in quite a bit better. Or I should say keep the wind out because heat rises, but it keeps that draft out, which would really, really cool it in a hurry. These clips right here, that's for the poles on the inside. So that's gonna be for hanging up things. You can just put the, the string on this and cinch it down and then put another peg in the ice and tighten it. So besides the dog of having the best day of her life right now, details. There's absolutely details in this I've not seen on any other one unless I'm blind. Very well could be, but this part, very important too. Since it's the vent, I've seen this little thing. So it's like a little tab that'll keep it open. I believe so it doesn't shut. There'll be Velcro somewhere in there, there you go. So that'll keep it down if it's a little bit windy and make sure and it'll make sure that the, uh, the gas situation gets vented. So let's check out the outside, shall we? So insulated, it's got a nice uh, window here. We'll take that off when we get in there. But these are pretty good. These look pretty solid, these handles. Nice, we like it. There's the insulation on the side. I'll go kind of slow because this is usually the part of the videos that I like to see more. Stitching on the outside looks pretty good. A little reinforced, I believe. Not bad. And then I'll give you a top view if I can hold it up. Not much difference up there. The handles are all the same at all the points that you pull out. And then there's, there's two doors, by the way, if you guys are unsure. And this holds the doors open. I slacked, I didn't do that in the back, but I don't think it's gonna blow away. So it looks like we have two windows. Oh, we get another vent on this side too, cool. That's a bonus. Well, that's the outside. Let's check out the inside. Get some windows open and then this girl. How do we do it? Oh, we pull from the bottom. Why can I not find, oh, wait a second. I think there's a thing right here to hold it. Oh my God, help me. Okay, hang on a second. Good thing we got the tripod going here. Just gotta wrap it up. Like I said, first time we do uh, all organic videos. There we go. So that holds that one. This shall be the second one. Some of the other ones that I have are Velcro, but these are rolling. So there are two doors, like I said, and we need more light for this video. And there's the Velcro on the outside. We're just gonna pop you out. Stick you there. And now we can see a little better. So yeah, it's a pretty good size. I think it's like six feet, we'll call by six. We're actually gonna measure it because I wanna know exact dimensions. And I did that in all my other videos too. So then the two tents, or two tents, the two vents are up there. Now, as far as these, they look like the same diameter. And I've seen these break on every single tent and brand. It's how rough you are with your, with your stuff. That's all it is, just take care of it. Don't boot it around and it should last. But all the other ones that I've seen, guys can get replacements. Some guys fix them if they do break, but just take care of your stuff and you'll probably be just fine. What's this? We're finding more stuff. What is this? Okay. So we got to take this down. What is that? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> you're getting excited here. Okay, so this, you can put your um, stuff up. Those are those clips I was telling you about on the outside, because I was wrong. Those are definitely uh, for inside here. So you can put all your coats and everything up there if you want. Storage there. You have side compartments here to put your stuff in. One there. You have another one on this side, bonus. And far as like, okay, you look at the stitching with the lighting here, I hope you can see it fairly good, but it looks not bad. Like that's pretty heavy duty canvas. You can take a little look up here too. Looks like it's kind of finalized all right. And I can tell you like, it's definitely a warmer day, but it's keeping the heat in. I don't think the insulation is that bad. It's a little thinner than like my uh, Eskimo, obviously. But as long as you have some type of insulation, if you have a heater going in there, it's going to keep the heat in. It shouldn't be that bad unless it's a super, super cold day. So it's not bad, I think, the insulation. 
in price point, I think it was 250 if I remember. Should have probably checked on that before I finalized this video here. But it's around 250, I believe, for the three to four man they classify this as. But I would probably say two, threes pushing it. Now, before we forget, these are these clips. I'm pretty sure they can hold whatever you want. And you can put them, now let's say, I want one right there. See, there you go. And you can hang whatever you want on it. So I was totally wrong about uh, that earlier. And we're gonna measure the inside to get the exact diameter and then the actual height. It probably says that online, but I've measured all my other ones. Here we go. So it only goes like five feet, this thing. I think I gotta do it twice. So it's three and three. So three and three in my math's mathing, my brain's being big brain at six feet. And it should be six feet square, six by six. And then for the height for you tall people, I'm gonna guess, I don't know. Oh, my thing's gonna run out. So this is five feet right there. Okay, we're gonna do some really, really intense uh, measurements here. So right where my thumb is, that's five. It's gonna be six. We're gonna say right there. Eh, six and a half, we'll say six and a half. I'm 5'10", and this gives you an idea. And when you get to the edge, it's still, it's not bad. So it should be able to fit anybody for height in here. Another thing before we forget, some tents, these are all Velcroed in, but you cannot get these out. They're stitched in. So it's just the flap and that's it. So for airflow, you got the two doors and then the vents on each side. So in Saski's conclusion, I think it's, uh, for the price point, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're an average fisherman, it's fine. If you're more hardcore, you're gonna be out in more wind and a lot colder, maybe spend a little bit more, but for around 250 bucks, it's a pretty good deal, I think. And everyone's about the same price range for that size, but there you go. Hope it helped you. Buy the right tent. Stay warm. Subscribe.